I said, everyone's coming out, you know, that Evo training. Yeah, he was having some struggles in the beginning of the season, and that's why he didn't really cut and tend too much. Seems like he's ironed those out, be able to tend more frequently now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when, when your main gets hit that hard, it kind of sucks. Yeah. Was it deserved? 100%. Uh, Sonic can still do some stuff in this game. He, yeah, he still has some things that he can do. He's just not as... It's harder for him to camp, for sure. Yeah. It's also a lot easier to punish some of his options on shield. So... Okay, so Meteor is going to go Sonic, and the other person's tag is... Or Snoop Cat is going to go Zelda, it seems like. Okay. Zelda, a character where I feel like everyone, like, hyped up the character. Uh, I, I still think the character is pretty solid, but definitely I, I would not say that Zelda is a meta character. She definitely, I feel like she's like mid character fast. Yeah. She's yeah. a good zoner, but once you get on her, it's the only tool she really has in neutral me, but that's really punishable. Yeah, very, uh, very risky. And it's not like you get anything crazy like the stock. It's kind of like, oh, they're off me. I got some damage. I also can reflect. The one really good thing, though, is a lot of the cast, if they hit Zelda shield, she can lightning kick out of shield, and it will sweet spot. Yes, that was a very, very nice buff. And, of course, the Phantom Knight being, like, probably her best move, for sure. Very versatile. You can charge three levels of charge, I believe? Mm-hmm. Yep. There's the kick, there's the normal sword, and then there's the swipe up. Yeah. Yeah, and it's such a... In a game where disadvantage is so key, um, being able to set that up is very, very nice. Um, setting it up on the ledge is probably the most like common situation you're going to see. Yeah, well, the one, the biggest downfall of, the, of this character is her speed. Yes, very, still very much so slower. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense, you know. You're like the a, a quote unquote like spellcaster yeah. almost. So definitely would be crazy if she was quick. I think she'd be terrifying. Oh, yeah, for sure. Especially with their dare, because that move hovers out for a while. She can get a lot off of it. But Ooh. Meteor will steal the stock, catching the air, that spot dodge with that smash. Yeah. Right there, Cat tried to do the best move in the game. Didn't really work out. Meteor oh, moving okay. too high. I got to play a bracket match. I'll be back. Right. Yeah. Meteor doing pretty good. Snoo Cat doesn't seem like he can do very much about Meteor's approaches. Not really having any good out of shield options like Bear or Fair, but those aren't really connected too well. And it doesn't seem like he has a hold on how to punish Spin Dash in general. So. There are always to punish it. If you want to, if you can parry it, then you have a decent option. There it is with pair of lightning kick out of shield. And to punish. Oh, okay, so try to catch him going past ledge with the, the dark nut or the. We'll catch spot dodge with the back end, so we'll knock out. Doing a lot better than in the beginning. We'll see the struggle with Sonic Speed, but now that's the one thing he's watched before. He's neutral being a lot. It just isn't. It's a good move. It doesn't have invincibility. Start up or super. I forget which one. One of them. But it does have a lot of end lag, and if you can if you can call it out, then this is the free punish. And catching that the jump with the back end, we'll see the stock out. Now has a two stock lead. Calling out or punishing that F smash with Spin Dash. Yeah, up tilt's also a really good combo starter, but like it's slow. That's a good startup, but not exactly the best move. It's kind of slow near the end. Also, it doesn't really have an initial hitbox in the front, I believe. Trying to get off this ledge, we'll do a sour spot down there. Cross up on the shield, catch it with the lightning kick after, but Meteor really gets back. We'll get punished with the dash attack. Oh. Dash right into the up tilt, but miss. Or the up tilt missed, and Meteor got to be punished off of that. Parrying that down there, we'll punish with up tilt. Trying to catch the ledge, get up with the S match move with. Once it gets the spin dash to up air. Oh. Don't know what that interaction was. Okay, so we're going to go back though. Yep. Set up the dark nut, trying to punish Meteor with that dare. Oh no, neutral B. Oh, that works too. Got the stage spike, Meteor didn't tag. Okay, good job with Cap. Bud gets caught up with like, back air. Meteor is stealing that game off. For how slow Zelda is, Snoo Cat's doing a really good job at catching Meteor out every now and then with the lightning kicks and seal the stocks out. But at the same time, he's also struggling to keep up with the speed at the same time. It's really weird. Like Meteor is enjoying the Sonic a bit more now. Because I saw him do play Mark IV. Okay, so Cat's going to switch to Bowser. I can see that working a bit more 
he still will have trouble getting away or getting getting in on Sonic, especially with the slow. But he's still decently slow. He's also a big body character, so a lot of moves will connect easier. But at the same time, he does have super arms on the wall stuff and can kill significantly earlier. But just the general move hit, being the heavy power hitter he is. And that up shield is really good, 16%. Still going to be caught up by that. Up airs. Trying to land there. Will miss. The meter missing the whip punish too. That fair hits so much below him now. It's pretty ridiculous. Maybe will catch him with the B reverse sneak peek. Get that fire breath. Does a ton of damage. So this seems like just kind of fix. Character switch is working a lot better for him now. Able to punish me here a bit more. That fire breath. Catch. That fire breath is really good at catching people for trying to recover the life because it just doesn't let them. And we'll get the side. We'll kill off the top. That move is powerful and it's fast. Does have a lot of end like, but it's pretty worth it for Bowser's. Or the level of Bowser's find it worth it to go for because it just does 100% and also kills. Not only able to let them look at the Nair too, and kind of follow up with the jab, but Meteor will catch him with the homie shot. Okay, so Rolling Fortress will beat out the spring, but unfortunately, okay, Meteor just runs off Ferris and gets him off and steals the Saga with 30% lead for Snoop Cab, but it is Bowser, and he hits really hard. So this will be a tough one for me to get back. He needs to space out Snoop Cab just a bit more. And also try to avoid getting hit. Right. Yep. Throwing out that jab will hit the shield. Soon cat punches with the side B. We'll get those with the fire breath. Meteor able to snap the ledge. We'll get the dash or get up attack instead. Soon cat trying to punish him. Slip the anti air with the nair, but unfortunately, Meteor is underneath and punishing him by that. And that command grab. Oh, dive off the side. Seems like that DI was just a bit off. This is kind of big working really well for Snoop Cat now. Meteor's getting caught off guard by these getting, straight, getting hit by these straight hits. Okay, punishes the landing near with the grab. He gets him off stage, going for the left grab. Tries to M smash, but Snoop Cat just jumps on Flare Bust. Gets a solid 15 to 20% off. Okay, trying to win the fortress. A little bit too late on the trigger. We'll get punished for it. Throw off stage again. This is where Meteor can get the most off of these interactions. Oh, tries to go for back but Snoop Cat down B's, catches Meteor off the Fair off. Right. Okay, catches the, the directional air dodge with the backers. F smashes up B, no landing on the stage. Now this is where Meteor can bring it back in a bit. 50% is pretty tough, because Bowser does hit hard. But you can do it if you, you can do it if you use the Sonic speed and really good aerial range. Oh, tries to go for the down air spike, it seems like. It was a little bit too early for the stage spike to work, and he missed the spike block. Too much off. We'll punish the flare breath with the nair to the back. Or, nair to there? I didn't know that. Okay, so trying to catch it up with higher recovery with the back air. Yep. Okay, so yeah, catches Snoop Cat recovering a little bit low. Meter gets the back and seals the stock up. Good job. He was behind. But was able to capitalize on a few key pun punishes. Set out the game 2-0. Snoop Cat's Bowser looking really good from the beginning, catching Meteor off guard. But unfortunately for him, Meteor was able to adapt in time, get those punishes, and we'll seal it. So who do we have up next? Okay, so up next we have Lumbre and the Ribs. The good old Ribs, former, uh, what was the game? I can't remember. Not Guilty Gear, that's another fighting game. Uh, Gears of War, but now plays Smash, I believe. He is a NES player, really good with the follow-up. I saw him playing early and he was really good at his mix-ups. Using the magnet, 